There are renewed calls by the Irish citizenry for the Irish Air Corps to consider disarming or at least reducing the expenditures that are going into that particular branch's military spending budget. How's it going, everyone? You're watching Everything Else Channel on YouTube, everythingelsechannel.com. If at any point in time you like the video, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below. A lot of people say, why does Ireland need to have an Air Force like it does? Why is the Emerald Isle so interested in having state-of-the-art planes? Other people have said, listen, if Ireland's Air Corps today had been around during the Great War, Ireland would have been the most powerful country in the world. That should give you pause. They would have been stronger than Great Britain, stronger than the United States, stronger than France and Spain. Why does Ireland need to have an Air Force so modern and so dangerous if there's no war? And this is something that is being asked in the corridors of government in Dublin, but also regional cities like Limerick and Cork and Shannon. Why is the Irish Air Corps spending so much money? What are they so afraid of? When you stop to think about it, really stop to think about it, if the Irish Air Corps of today with the main aircraft it has today, would have been around during the days of the Great War. Ireland would have been the strongest country in the air, bar none, stronger than Russia, China, the United States, England, Great Britain. It isn't necessary. Listen, we have the F-22. A lot of countries have the F-16. The Russians have the MiG-31, 35, whatever they're up to. None of these planes can hold a candle to the IAC. That's short for Irish Air Corps. The IAC PC-9. The Pilatus-9. This main fighter aircraft can hit speeds of 300 nautical miles an hour. That is three times faster than a Kia Rio in the air. Why does Ireland need this ridiculous amount of speed? For what? Why? But that's not it, folks. Many of the Irish pilots fly with a bag of grenades. And on each wing, I, I don't know why. I, I don't understand the fascination with armaments. But on each wing, they have a 22 caliber long rifle that the pilot controls from inside. Now, these pilots have spent hundreds of hours on Nintendo and Sega Genesis systems. And if they hit that button fast enough, they can shoot either rifle or both at the same time. And sometimes in what may sound like automatic fire. Other times, they can open the window, grab a grenade, and drop it. Now, I don't understand why Ireland needs to have this level of sophistication this amount of speed, this amount of destructive power. There are no wars. Ireland doesn't have a guerrilla movement. There is an insurgency. So why do you need this military machine in the air?